Greetings, everyone. Welcome to ENE Learning Hub. I'm going to go through and explain the solutions for question 11 from the 2010 past paper. This question is related to domestic installation and testing. All right, so let's begin. Part A, it says name two tests that are performed on a new installation to verify the electrical soundness of the installation. The two types of tests are one, verification of polarity tests, two, insulation resistance tests. So that's it for part A. For part B, it says identify two measuring instruments that are used to perform electrical tests on a new installation. The two measuring instruments are one, continuity tester, two, megohm meter. All right, so that's it for part B. For part C, it says name two ways in which users of portable electric equipment are protected from electric shock. One, the equipment should be erted when connected to a source. Two, the conductors of the equipment should be properly insulated. All right, so those are the two ways a user can be protected from electric shock when using a portable electric equipment. All right, so that's it for part C. For part D, it says figure 15 shows the connection of the electrical components labeled one to five in a domestic electrical installation. So here is figure 15. Part one of D, it says in your answer booklet, Write any four of the numbers, one, two, three, four, and five. And beside each number selected, write the name of the electrical components it identifies. I'm just going to go through and do all of them. So number one, that is the watt hour meter. Number two, the main disconnect switch. Number three, that's the protective device, the fuse. Number four, that's the earth conductor. Number five, that's the earth lead conductor. For part two, it says briefly explain the function performed by each of the components labeled one, two, three, four, and five in the installation. One, that's the watt or meter. It is used to measure the electrical energy. Two, the main disconnect switch. It is used to disconnect the customer load from the main supply. Three, now the fuse. It is used to protect the conductors of the final circuit. Number four, the air conductor. This is used to carry any current due to ground fault or loss of neutral wire. Number five, the air lead conductor. This is used to link the air conductors to the earth rod in order for ground fault current to flow to earth. So that's it for part two of D, and that's it for this question.